I think it's safe to say that I've lost control. Things have spiraled and there's too many motorcycles, which I'm not complaining. I know, I know, well, I mean, two of them aren't really technically mine, but I gotta work on this. So first off, the loser's already loaded. Yes, I know that's a U-Haul trailer. I freaking love those things, man. For like, I think it's 17 bucks. I rented it for like a half day because I'm just taking it now to Quality Handmade Cycles in West Palm because he's going to do a nice, pretty job of uh, welding in my tank bung, something that I, I don't think I'm quite ready to do that. I think it just, it would look like crap and just let Bryn do it uh, because he's also going to make my seat pan, something I'm in no way capable of doing. I'll show you that when I pick it up. It'll probably be a week or so before I get back. Um, he builds a steel seat, essentially. And then Jeffrey Phipps adds a whole bunch of high-density foam and a really cool cover to it. But the seat is actually not just... It's not just a pan, man. It doesn't just follow, like, the backbone on the fender of the bike and then up the sissy bar. It's, it's got actually a step to it in the middle, and it's really cool what Bryn does making a seat pan. But after we drop that off, we got to get back here and get to work on this garage because it's a freaking mess. And I got a new... Uh, couple new things you saw this i have the new uh workbench that i bought there and the vice and the I actually got a belt sander now that i need to use when that comes back i gotta straighten out one of the spacers that's crooked on uh, a polisher sander da, da, da. and i've got some hooks and it's just not doing that great of a job and i got a message actually from viper the people who make my stool and they were like that's not gonna work we have a cart now we'll send you one of those just as a gift and i was like that's freaking badass so they sent me this we'll put this together and all that but Already, I can show you one thing. Look at all the toys that it has. You know, like, hey, that's a whiskey cup holder. I don't know if that's what they mean for it to be. And, like, there's a, a, a shop rag, you know, uh, roll of blue towels, you know, holder for that, all kinds of cool stuff. But that's only a part of this because I got fenders, got stuff that's got to go on the ST. They, like, look, look at, look. I mean, like, this is, ah. Uh, it's a little overwhelming. So let me take this guy, take the loser to Bryn, drop that off, get rid of the U-Haul trailer. Then I'll be back, hopefully without incident. And uh, we'll get to work on building the cart and straightening the stuff out and finding a place to store my welder properly. And Here we be at Quality Handmade. No big signs, probably because you don't want people stealing shit, but normally his truck's sitting there. It's got the logo on it. But the loser's here. The beautiful loser's its name. So we're waiting for Bryn to get here. And then uh, he'll take it inside and store it. So again, what he's doing is proper, pretty welded tank bungs here. And obviously there, I just tapped the screw there now. And then seat pan. I'm going to go drop off this little 10 trailer, which by the way, again, if you ever just need to move a bike that's broke or something like that, I think I paid 17 bucks, you know, for $16, $17 to have this for a half day. Time has passed. So I dropped the bike off earlier, back here, returned the rental trailer, all that sort of fabulous stuff. So let's go ahead and start trying to organize this mess. I mean, this, this space is now open. I could buy another motorcycle. Now that chopper occupies that. So now we got recycle bins and welder and cables and chargers and little electrical things where I was wiring up headlights, which are now over there and da 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 da. So now the thing is, this thing has some organization to it. So it comes with a detail brush holder. Well, it doesn't come with it. They sent me this and all these attachments. So you buy the cart and you can add anything on you want or, and then don't want. So detail brush holder, dual cup holder, slash whiskey glass holder, extension cord hook, hammer holder. That's the end panel to mount stuff onto. Uh, liquid tape over my fingers. Uh, a paper towel holder. That is freaking cool. Um, it's the little things, right? Pliers holder, pry bar holder, screwdriver holder, and a spray bottle holder. Like, and then I'm thinking, is there a lower there's a lower shelf. If that's high and adjustable, I might be able to fit my welder in that shelf just to get stuff off the floor. So let me cut this open. <laughs> I used it as a spray booth yesterday, so that's great. Um, and I'll start putting this thing together. I mean, it's nuts and bolts. And then we'll try and figure out if we can make some sense of all this mess. Well, the wheels are rather intense. You big bolt bag. <laughs> it was nearly defeated by all the foam. But hey, there's an upside. There's a sticker. <sighs> Seriously, it looks like it snowed in here. A key piece of information I missed. There's a bottle opener in the leg. Oh, well then, it is what it is. So, let me... Oh, it's pretty simple. Nuts, bolts, corners, da-da-da-da-da, stack them up, 
screw them together, put the wheels on, the side bits, attachments. Again, the attachments are optional, so you can add them or not, or you know, wherever you want, but yeah. So I'm gonna get out ahead of this. So I have a Viper stool right there. It's blurry in the background. And they are by far the best that money can buy. I've had that one for two years, I guess. They sell them for like tattoo artists and you know, all kinds of people who are very serious about their tools. These are not cheap. Viper is not hobo freight. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a very different thing. Uh, and even their own tagline or something I remember seeing in a video before, an uh, uh, Instagram post, I mean, they said, you can cry once or you can cry every year. <laughs> you have to buy a new stool and all that crap every year or you buy one one time and you're done the rest of your life. So something to think about before you look at it and go, oh my God, that's so expensive. Not when you think about it. Not exactly a complex construction. It's, you know, simple's best. So heavy gauge steel, uh, looks like laser cut and folded. And then the little slots cut out for the different hangers, and then just a bunch of holes for the legs to go. I'll show you. I mean, this is this is how you make something indestructible. You just don't overthink it. So you got carriage bolts. They go through the outside of the leg through, and then there's a um, a wash on the inside that is square cut to go over the carriage bolt, and then a nut, and you just tighten them all down. So it's two, four, six, eight, eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty, six million carriage bolts to put together the whole structure. Then you got. Uh, 16 nuts and bolts at the bottom for the caster wheels. You can see there's still still got stuff all over it. And then this is an interesting piece of hardware I've never seen before. Not the handle. So you got four bolts, right? And then there's this piece of hardware that goes inside here. And it's not just your typical like wall hanger kind of thing, but as you tighten it, it's a couple of cylinders that expand. And all. That's really cool. So that's all together. That is the cart, right? So there's the basic thing. The next thing is to hang on all the optional stuff they sent the hangers and all that. And then looking at it, I was wondering about height adjustable. So the middle shelf is not height adjustable. You can see where the, the holes are, but it is plenty big for a welder, all right? I can throw that down below with my mat, with my helmet and a bunch of other crap and be good to go. I'm thinking this is not an inexpensive thing to do, but you could like purpose these carts. You have a welding cart, a detailing cart, all that kind of stuff. What I'm going to do is hang as much as I possibly can on it and use these that Nick sent me forever ago, which are awesome but use those in the RV, I think. Because those will make it really cool. I'm going to still use that one as an engine stand. As you can see, it's still covered in crap. I'm going to throw away a bunch of stuff. But I'm going to use that for the motor when it comes back. That one's probably going to go to the RV. And then this guy may actually fit under there. That'd be wild. I think it does. So you could fit it under there. But yeah. All right, we put all the attachments on. Lots of trash. Be back. Do these just like throw on here? I mean, like, I just like... They're, they go on like just nothing to it. There, so there's that. You can move them around. I can move it around to the end or whatever. But I'm kind of thinking everything on one side if possible. Although I still got this stuff here. Oh, the paper towel thing. That's got to go. Oh, what? I'm throwing things. Hang on. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I stopped recording again because I was having too much fun. I'm sorry. So vice grips I just clamped on there. But this is your cup holder. This is a hammer hanger. I got to hang it off. Well, here. They just, they're soup. They're like stupid easy to throw on there. So there you go. Hammer hanger. It's left for me putting it together. So cup holder, hammer hanger. This is your pliers holder. I have two electrical tools or a snipper in there. Screwdriver holder. That'll be full. This is actually supposed to be for detail brushes, I think, but it actually fits the handle of my new wire stripper. So I threw that in there. Paper towel holder, which I haven't loaded yet. This, I can't leave it like this, and you'll see why in a minute. This is your like spray bottle holder and that's gonna interfere and it won't go on the, the large panel because that the slots this uses are the same slots those use so i can just move that somewhere i'll figure that out but paper towel holder i got nothing on this side you could get another one of uh these and put it on this side you know to go across uh also if you have single slot things like that this this is an extension cord hanger you can put those here and then I'm going to leave that open, though, so I can get into it. And then, yeah, so extension cord hanger. So, yeah, let me throw the welder down there and get this stuff off the floor, and at least I'll be on my way. Most important test of the day. It's it's a, uh, it's, a it's a limiting. All right. Is it? Am I, am I too stupid? Evidently. What am I doing wrong? It's I've opened a beer before. What the hell? All right, so. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What? 
There we go. A little, little spray age is okay. That's what I've always said. That works. Oh, my God. I'm sorry if you're working or something right now. It's really good lemonade. And, eh, uh, cup holders. All right, let me get more screwdrivers and fill that up and then try and figure this out because that's, that's my hex head. I call it an Allen uh, key set. Chargers and what else can go on here? I think it's going to go sideways right there, actually. It's the next day. I, just give me, cut me some slack, all right? I just had to work and be a dad. But it's the best job I ever had. So I got a lot set up and a lot. This is how out of, like, whack and how disorganized I found ammo. Yeah. Nine mil range ammo and uh, tracers. Buddy had sent that to me like a while ago, and it was it was it was over there. Yeah, so you can see now why organization was becoming a problem. So what I have going right now, this is what I'm trying to do, and it's still a freaking mess. Is that is becoming parts staging and and my wife's helmet evidently uh, for the chopper when it comes back. Okay, I've got the workbench cleared off with some workspace for a little more wiring. I want to do. I did that headlight, and the switch is too big for the bucket to be really safe from a ground ground out if you're going on the road vibration all that so i'm going to redo a new headlight because i made too big of a hole in it with smaller switch uh so that'll be better i also have i'm just kind of building an inventory of stuff i'm doing this so often so two-way switches three-way switches but these are huge so i can't use that the bucket would have to be it couldn't be a four and a half it's too, you know, it's too big um so i got that set up i've got my rubber grommets i use that all the time i got my jb well because i was using it as bondo on the rear fender that works really really well by the way uh koozies for beers um that sort of stuff you know i kind of sit there this is kind of believe it or not sort of the way my brain works i also have my new belt sander and grinder set up so i can get the spacers done right as you can see i was already playing with like will that square that pretty well and it does so i'm gonna square up that one spacer that's bad on the chopper when it gets back and then i've got my ah thing of magnificence set up here so this guy is just going to go right around where the chopper is while i'm working on it Quarter inch and three eighths ratchet right there. Power ratchet's in the toolbox. Actually, no, it's right there. Ah, hang on the end. Uh, hammer, pliers, screwdrivers, wire stripper, soldering iron. I started to set up some cleaners there. I ordered the proper blue shop rags for the roll. I'm not gonna put the wife's paper towels in there. She'll kill me. Welding and all that stuff down below. The second shelf I'm setting up as not pistol cases. I found that also. I was gonna give that to the wife's sister if she needs it. Um, uh my socket sets you know that's hex head that's torx and then if i get i might get another set that's just regular because mine are kind of loose right now i just got a little where the hell is it the little slider of them right there um because i use quarter inch more than three eighths believe it or not it's it's tends to work well you can get in small spaces with it and then i pull out the power rash when i need to but thanks again to viper for that that's freaking awesome that's gonna make a huge difference uh i felt guilty the condition of my chair so I went ahead and cleaned that up too <laughs> and emptied out the bottom and it'd become a catch-all except for the wife's horn. That's right there. That's going to go on the orange bike. So I'm really interested in feedback. Like I lost control of my garage. I'm trying to bring it back around. But what do you do? I mean, probably what you do, this is what a smart person would do is not have, you know, the convertible top, hard top off of a 90s Mercedes, um, Two road glides, a tour glide, a chopper, three bikes and a trip. Like, it's probably step one, right? Is not to build bikes while you have too many bikes. But I'm interested what your thoughts are and what you would do and what I'm doing wrong and what I could do better. I mean, shelves above the garage door would be good. And Chopper Carl, who's also a carpenter, said he could do that. So maybe, you know, maybe we'll do something like that. But this is, it's not fixed. It's just trying to dig out of a hole here. So anyway, I want to know what you think, really. Comment down below. I'm truly interested. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please hit it. I really appreciate it. The chopper should come back in about a week. We're going to Leesburg next week. So there'll be a Leesburg video in there. <laughs> um, so yeah, so chopper come back. We'll back, get back at it. I also need to change out the headlight and the crash bar on the ST because I'm taking that to a some local buddies club open house tomorrow night. So I had to get on that. I need to do that now. Anyway, so I love you all to death. Thanks for watching this stuff. I really appreciate it. We'll talk real soon. Bye.